everybody, and welcome to the first ever VJAs, the Video Junkies Award Show. Uh, I am the host of the ceremony, James Scalzetti. Uh, Justin Callum, my partner here, is ready on standby, and we're just waiting for our third member of the crew. Uh, Jeremy Lee, don't know where he's at. He's supposed He was supposed to be here like an hour ago, and now he's just gone. It was us two. Um, sorry, sorry. Traffic and... No. Now I can shut the door on your way in. I can shut, shut the door. Hey, I'm in a hurry. I'm late. Well, we know. Uh, well yeah, we know. We, we know you're we late. We can't be more late now. Well, you know what? I no, I got it, and I got up, and I'm getting ready, and I'm and the traffic, and then the moon was out, and yeah, the, the moon, moon was out? Yes. What are you, Jupiter? Yo, are you a werewolf? <sighs> kind of, a little bit. Oh my god, I really a werewolf. Instead of a wolf, though, I turned into an octopus. That sounds goddamn octopus. awesome. Yeah. Where are octopus? octopus. Okay, so we have a bunch of awards to give out today, and we have a bunch of other lovely shenanigans. So, uh, unfortunately, our fourth member of the crew who wanted to be here, uh, Zachary Adams, couldn't be here today. Yeah, he has foot amputated. He had, you know, yeah, you know, everyone hopefully has lives. He keeps it. Everyone, ha yeah, hopefully he keeps it and tries it. Yeah, <laughs> just eats it. Okay, so uh, without further ado, let's get let's get uh, let's get a kraken. Yeah. That sounds dangerous. I don't like it. I do. I do have a speech that I like to uh, perform to say to you guys. <sighs> Hello and welcome to the Video Junkies End of the Year Show. But so before we start on today's festivities, I would like to say a few words. When I started making videos for YouTube way back when in 2010, I wanted to do something more than just let's plays. Something with you know, as a, a compilation channel with some of my best friends. Unfortunately, my best friends couldn't do it, so I had to pick these guys. Hell yeah. <laughs> nah, I kid, I kid. You know I love you guys. We had this grand idea of making a channel and having a, a variety, a whole bunch of different stuff. Jeremy did some top tens, Justin did something, and I did toy reviews. <laughs> Just well, Later on, we decided we wanted to do a little bit more, and it took the cancellation of one of our favorite TV channels, G4, for it to happen. We introduced Gamers Stew. It was a kind of a, a podcast-esque thing where we talked about video game news, and we just talked about video games. Unfortunately, it was kind of a, a, it was a bust, and it never really gained popularity. So we decided to change the formula, scrap it. Make a whole live action, you know, have skits in it, everything. Mix our two favorite, two of our favorite shows, Attack of the Show, for its comedy and overall geekiness, and Top Gear with its setup, reviews, and all that other jazz. And thus, Video Junkies is born. Now, throughout Video Junkies' career, we have reviewed many, many games. Some really good, and then others terrible. And it is with my great pleasure to enter us into a new year and hope that 2014 will give us even more success and more, more shitty games. So, without further ado, let's get started on the awards. <clears throat> so, first up tonight, we have the PS3 Game of the Year. Now, I didn't have a PS3 at the start. I had an Xbox 360. And boy, when I switched over to the PlayStation, I never looked back. Can I hear you guys? Can I hear you guys? Uh, yeah, that's true. Man. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot better. PS3 has some fantastic games, such as The Last of Us and the Uncharted series and the Ratchet and Clank franchise. You know, all these great, great materials. So it was really tough picking just one to be a game of the year. But... It was our duty, <laughs> duty, <laughs> duty, <laughs> duty, <laughs> to pick, <laughs> to pick one. So, our award for the PS3 Game of the Year goes to <laughs> The Last of Us. Yeah. That was an awesome game. That was an amazing game. 
Do any of you have a few words about The Last of Us that you want to? Uh, I'll accept. I'll accept them. You accept, you accept them? Not no. It, uh, we here at Naughty Dog, because I'm part of Naughty Dog and I made this game all by myself. <laughs> the Last of Us. <laughs> Uh, you know, it was uh, a, it was a really awesome effort by everyone, uh, and we thought it was a, a great turnout. Uh, you know, it, just, uh, it was really just a lasting image in people's, we hope, a lasting image in video game history. Uh, personally, on a personal note, I, I you know, I made it, so obviously I played it. All by yourself. Yeah, all by myself. No one else helped. It was just me. <laughs> uh, uh, I really like the uh, open world-esque style of the game. But as well as the uh, storyline, uh, the in the characters were uh, actually it seemed like family at some points. You really bonded with these characters, and just the overall, like I said, the story was amazing. Uh, the the concepts and the details of the the intertwined story was um, terrific, and it really deserves uh, to be the PS3 game of the year. Um, and, and you know, and if you don't have a PS3 and you're not able to play The Last of Us, uh, it's definitely worth buying a PS3 just to play The Last of Us. It's it's an amazing game. So. Wow! What a great what a great speech. Next up is downloadable game of the year. And to present it is Justin Calvin. Justin, take it away. Oh, I'm sorry, we didn't get any build up. There's a lot of games you can download, and this is the best one. <laughs> Woo! Oh my god! <laughs> the Walking Dead oh. Season 2, Episode 1. <laughs> now, one of us, one of us here and people on each studios have actually played it. However, <laughs> it can be assumed through previous experience with Walking Dead game that Season 2 is exactly the same quality as Season 1 and therefore is the best downloadable game of this year and we are incredibly biased. Don't care. Woo! <laughs> uh, it, it's the one by Telltale, not the yeah, not yeah. those shitty Walking oh, Dead. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah the Telltale Whoa. Games one, not the the Survival Instinct. Yeah, that was garbage. That was. I heard that's garbage. Right. Would you like to accept the award? Oh, I would love to. I would love to accept the award for the Walking Dead. <clears throat> We here at Telltale Games love to make our adventure games. So when we got the rights to The Walking Dead, we were ecstatic! And with Walking Dead Season 1, we had great success and we wanted to bring it into the second season. And with the storyline and everything, it's fantastic. So thank you, Video Junkies, for giving us this award, and we will definitely put it in our collection. Thank you. Yay. Oh, oh. Jesus is a guilty. Jesus. <laughs> that should have been our favorite character. <laughs> Best TV character. <clears throat> now, to for the award for the best Xbox 360 game. I guess I'll I'll present it. Do it. Why not? Do it all. <clears throat> the Xbox 360 was a fantastic machine. It's brought it brought us into the seventh generation of video games. Seven. 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 The seventh console generation. It made a whole 360 degrees turnaround from what the Xbox original was. So, there's no better way to set it off than with the game of the year. We had many choices, but only one could have won. So, the Xbox 360 game of the year goes to... Uh, to accept the award, who wants to accept the award for oh, Rockstar? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. You don't want to accept it? I don't want to accept it. 
Okay, you can accept From Rockstar, this guy! And some of you may know, here at Rockstar Games, we work hard on our games for several hundred hours a week. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it brings me great joy, and I'm sure everyone at our studio is great joy to, to find that, that we've been nominated and won the award for 360 Game of the Year. It's, it's really exciting. And it, it justifies all, all that we've, we've worked for. GTA V is the, the, the biggest thing, virtually, and that is all. Thank you for your service. Shake his hand, I'm Rockstar! Either. Shake his hand, Rockstar! How unprofessional of you. I'm Rockstar, I don't gotta do that. <laughs> Next up to present the award for a Nintendo Game of the Year is Jeremy Lee. Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. Um, uh, oh, well, that happened. Nin Nintendo, uh, in, in the recent past uh, has been declining um, in popularity among people, but there is still hope out there for Nintendo with their games that they are producing. There are some very good games that have been produced in the recent past by Nintendo. So, without further ado, the Nintendo Game of the Year goes to... Link Between Two Worlds! Or, Link Between Worlds, sorry. Yeah! yeah. Woo! And here to accept it is... Someone from Nintendo. I haven't even played the game! Yeah! But you yeah. yeah. made it, so yeah, go! It was a lot of work making Link Between Worlds. I know nothing about it, I'm just a public service representative. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, they, just, they just pay me to talk. Link Between Worlds is just a fabulous game that I've never even played. I don't own a, whatever it's on. <laughs> but I can assure you that I've been informed that it's on the 3DS. <laughs> what a great talker he is. Yeah! Oh, I suppose it's time for me to leave. Wow, what a great speech. What, what a great, what a great Nintendo, speech. They really know yeah, how to they, present. They do, they yeah. do. Now, to accept the award, or to present the award for PlayStation 4 Game of the Year. Wait a minute, did you, you did Nintendo, you did. Just do it. I'll just do it. <laughs> I'll just, yeah, I'll just go. Well, you don't have 3DS. And again, I don't know why I sat over here. Yeah, I don't know why I sat over here. Well, because I was sitting there, okay. <clears throat> We're unbalanced. This isn't right. It is. You'll sit over there then! God! You take just children. children! On our award shows. PlayStation 4 has only been out for a few months now. Or a few years, depending on when you're watching this. <laughs> yeah. Now, I was one of the lucky ones to get a PlayStation 4. There has been people murdered over the PlayStation 4, and many more fights to come to see who's better, the PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. Yeah. And we kind of already know what the real winner is. Violence! Okay. So, <laughs> without many games for it to be available, it was not hard to whittle down our choices for PlayStation 4 Game of the Year. Still, this is a great honor, and the PlayStation 4 Game of the Year is... Flower! Yeah! I'm just gonna accept it on my own. <laughs> it has good visuals, and the story, no story, but it's beautiful. <laughs> so... Flower! Yay! Yay! Woo! Okay. That was good. Okay, well, so... At least. Oh, yeah, that's oh, are we? Yeah. Okay. Before we can get on to the overall game of the year, 
we have some more stuff installed and ready. So, the nominees for the Game of the Year are Legend of Zelda, Link Between Worlds, Flower, The Last of Us, and that other game, GTA 5. GTA 5. Yeah. Which will win? win? Which will no. win? Put in your ballots now, and we will read them, but not do anything. Yeah, because your opinion doesn't your matter. Your opinion doesn't matter. It's no. our opinion. It's, it's our, our opinion. opinion. So we will be right back after this. He brings it in and shoots! Scores! Richard McDowell with the goal! And that puts the Scorpions up by one here with five minutes left in the game. And we are back for the next round of awards. Now the next one is for first person shooter of the year. And to present it is Justin Cowman. A lot of first-person shooters. It's it's a genre of game that's sort of dominating the market at this point. And there's, like I said, there's a lot of them, and so picking one that would be better than all the rest is it's tough. Especially when no <laughs> <laughs> but we did it. We figured out a way. of the year is Battlefield 4. appreciate the cold weather that's going on over here right now. Yep, it's cold. Yeah, it's cold. It's like, it makes us feel like we're just at home. Now, we took a lot of time and effort putting in Battlefield 4, and we may have skipped on the story a few hundred times and made it total garbage, but the multiplayer is pretty good, and the Frostbite 5, 4, 100 engine is amazing, and we love it. Game of the year right here. Plus better than Call of Duty Ghosts. <laughs> then it was so much better than Call of Duty Ghosts. <coughs> oh, I can't even stand it. So thank you, Video Junkies, for the award. Thank you for your service. I don't know why, but thank you for your show. Yeah. <laughs> Next up is a for, is the sports. Best sports game of the year. Now, sports games are very near and dear to some of our hearts. We buy them every year, and they're the exact same. And usually, they're shit after a while. <coughs> Madden 25. <coughs> Madden 25. Yes, Madden 25. <laughs> so to accept this, I think I think we know who's not gonna win it this year. But Definitely. spoiler alerts. So let's hand it over to Jeremy Lee to present it. Yes. Uh, sports games. Uh, there's a lot of them. They come out every year. Madden 25 sucks! Just had to get that out there. Sports games. Uh, like I said, they come out every year. Usually they're, they're basically the same thing, so innovation within a sports game, depending on what sport it is, you know, that, you know, it's representing, is tough to find. But when you find a game, that is innovative and fun, that is a sports game, you cherish it for a long time and it's playable a long time. So, without further ado, sports game of the year. The award goes to NBA 2K14. Uh, I would also like to accept it. Because, you know, I also, also work for 2K, as also. well as completely making The Last of Us by myself. I also worked on NBA 2K14. I am pretty, pretty, I'm a big deal. Uh, 
NBA 2K14, if you haven't played it, play it because it's terrific. Uh, it came out on multiple consoles, obviously. I personally own it for the PlayStation 3. So, uh, it's still amazing. They, they always do, 2K always does a good job improving the, the different game modes that you have. Uh, one new thing they brought was uh, the Path to Greatness, LeBron James' story. You get to play as LeBron in two different storylines they created to bring him to be the greatest player of all time, which is a nice new game mode. They also do career mode, which they've done for a long time, but I always enjoy it. And I, I played it for the PS4, and I have to say, it's almost like watching a movie, like you're living the career. And I know sometimes it lacks, uh, before it lacked with that, it, you know, you played the games and it didn't, didn't really feel like you were, you know, that person playing. But this, there is so much interactivity and you're living life. And it's, it's amazing and they did a really good job. So this, they definitely deserve this award. Oh yeah, we, yeah, I, I deserve the award. 2K doesn't, me, because I made it. Hello? No help? No help. No help. Hello. How do you have time for anything? You know, uh, How do you I have asked, time to do this show? I ask myself the same question sometimes. I just love this place, I guess. I just love this show. Well, that was fantastic. We got to, so far we got to meet so many, many great game developers. And... Me. Pretty much Jeremy. And we got to learn a lot about video games. So next up on the category block is visuals of video games. That's the best. So Justin, you wanna? Yes. You wanna take that over? Sure, arts and crafts again. Whoa, 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 whoa! Got it. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> she got last music. Ever since video games came out, yeah. best score. Developers have been working just so hard to make games look better and better and better to the point where now it's it's unbelievable. With the with the PS4 and the Xbox One and even games on the PS3 still, there's it's it's incredible what we're able to do with the technology we have. The visuals in video games are very important. Now this is not to say that they're more important than base core gameplay mechanics, but they're important to an extent that it can it can attract you to the game. Immersion. It brings you in and keeps you well. The gameplay keeps you there. The visuals take you in, and so yeah, the game. With the, the best visuals of the year is undisputably by anyone, anywhere in the history of forever. Flower. Flower! Yay! This is Flower's second award at the Video Junkies Award Show. <laughs> Wow, this is a this is a momentous occasion for us here at that guy and company. We this is our second video junkies award. This is incredible. I don't think this has ever been done before. No, this is the first year we've ever done something like this. Oh. But hey! Hey, we're the first yeah! Firsties! Firsties. So I want to thank you guys again for uh, everything that you know, for give, for awarding us with all of our hard work and dedication. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> Next up on the block is Most Creative Game. And I shall be presenting it. Or Most Creative Gameplay, sorry. Now games, pretty much games nowadays is look right, shoot, kill, bang. And it's very rare to find a game that doesn't look right, shoot, kill, bang. So, let's honor that right here, right now. Pull it out, bro. And the winner goes to 
Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds! This what? Is, this is Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds, the second award in the Video Junkies Award Show. I'm back up here again. I still haven't played the game. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> but I'm very happy that we've received a second award. It's, it's fantastic. Um, I remember the days of my childhood playing things like soccer. <laughs> <laughs> Actually being outside once in a while. Never played video games much. <laughs> I'm being informed that I'm... Say something about Nintendo. Nintendo! Don't listen to him, you're doing just fine. Nintendo, as a company, is, and forever will be, Nintendo, unless they change their name. Thank you. Now, our next award is very, very big and important. No, it's not Game of the Year, but almost as important. Company of the Year. Yes, Company of the Year. Many game companies are out there, but only one shall stand victorious. Jeremy Lee, would you like to accept? I'm going to present this. I will present it. There are many game companies. I am a big factor in most of them, obviously, so from you know what we've seen tonight. I actually uh, am four different game companies by myself. Uh, so you know, me presenting this, uh, I should win, but uh, we didn't all agree on that. So, company of the year goes to these people, who I will read in just a moment after I open this envelope and take the slip out of the envelope. Drum roll, please. Company of the Year goes to Ubisoft. 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 And accepting the award on Ubisoft's hand is you from Ubisoft. <coughs> Boy, what is the what is the deal with this guy, huh? Uh. We, we here at Ubisoft uh, would like to thank all of our employees and uh, all of the fans, and we love all of you. Good night. Okay, everybody, don't 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 all clap at once now. Nobody clap. Just I should have won. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm cool. Okay. Okay. We still have some more awards to give out, and we also still have some more stuff. So stay tuned. Same bad time, same bad channel. He looks like a horse. Okay, and now for the best male character in a video game. Male protagonists have been around for a very long time. So who is the best this year, you ask? It's definitely not anyone in Madden 25. <laughs> Who wants to present the award? Do you want me to present the award? To present it, man! Best! I'll present Be the You want to present yeah. the award? You can present the award. It's definitely not Madden 25, though. It's Madden 25. That's the best male protagonist. 
Which one though? There's like forty million. Million. Mad Madden twenty five itself. It's Madden. It's, it's yeah. just the game. It's John Madden. It's John Madden. Okay, I can give by John Madden being yeah. game of the year but, or male character of the year. Vertical difficulty. We're about to go to our cultures here. Please stay on the line. Don't fall so much. Okay. Protagonists are something every story follows in general, unless it's non-fiction. In which case it doesn't happen. Don't worry about it. So... And this is the best dude protagonist. Well... Or character, actually. Because that's in general, not just protagonists. Joel of The Last of Us. No accepting. That's like, that's like second? Yeah. Second? 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 This is, yeah, this is second. This is second award. Uh, the second award for did, did, The Last of Us. You did mostly come up with, with, with Joel. Uh, uh, Joel is me. Uh, it's basically, uh, I, when I made The Last of Us, uh, Joel is me. I lived that life. I did exactly what he did. Everything. Uh, I'm actually 400 years old. About 200 years ago, not many people know this, but 200 years ago there was a Last of Us plague and, <laughs> and I killed a lot of people. And I did some things I was not proud of. Betty White is actually Ellen. You know Ellen? Yeah. Uh, Ellie, sorry. Not Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> She's just a lesbian. Alright. Whoa! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Hey, there's I'm not that there's I'm, anything no, wrong there's with that. No, there's nothing wrong with lesbians, but Ellen DeGeneres is a lesbian. I don't think I she said, disagrees. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she disagrees. I don't think she's going to have any problem. What if Ellen DeGeneres comes in here right now and just punches you in the face? That'd be amazing. I, that would be amazing. That would be fucking awesome. And then we all know Ellen DeGeneres is straight. And Rosie O'Donnell's a lesbian. I mean, okay, I'm done. Well, Rosie O'Donnell Thank you for as the fun as Rosie O'Donnell yeah. wants. Yeah. Okay, thank you for the award again. Joel's awesome. Me, Joel, they're the same person though. Okay, that was kind of odd. Next up is the exact opposite of male character, the female character of the year. Oh, the lack of a male character. Mm -hmm. Oh, you do it. What? Nothing. You do this one. And to accept female characters Present. is Justin over okay. here. I'm presenting? You're presenting. Oh. Oh, okay, I'll present again. Woo! Justin! So, everything I said about male characters, female characters. <sighs> this one has a vagina. Hey. PG. What? P you said women don't have vaginas? PG. We said fuck four seconds ago. PG! <laughs> Ready PG, keep this PG. Elizabeth Comstock. Bioshock <laughs> Yeah! I don't think you should accept it since you're the only person with long hair in the room. I, Elizabeth Comstock, <laughs> accept this reward with great power. Don't care! <laughs> Go fuck yourselves. <laughs> Everyone in this room! I'm so badass. I'm I deserve this in, in its entirety. I am a god. Well, uh, okay, that was. Uh, is, this, is this thing on? Okay. Um, that, that was kind of uh, interesting. Um, well, we're whittling down our awards, so. Let's whittle them down more. Yeah! Yeah. Whittle. Next up is Best Voice Actor of the Year. And because he is getting butt hurt that he wants to do it, yeah. Jeremy gets to do it so he doesn't get butt hurt. Yeah, oh, thank you. But I'm the one that does the voices. Go fuck yourself. Um, you know, along with being the model for Joel and living my life and making the games, uh, I also appreciate voice acting among people. I don't voice act. Because if I were to voice act on the game, 
your ears were to melt off because of how smooth and how beautiful my voice acting voice is actually in, in your life. So uh, I don't do that because I don't want to hurt people. But anyway, best voice acting goes to Thank you. Bill Murray. Yes. Ellen Page as Jody Holmes in the game Beyond Two Souls. Uh, you want to say okay. Here's Ellen Page, everyone. <laughs> Hi, I'm a, I'm a, uh, Ellen Page's third brother twice removed somehow. Third brother. Um, <laughs> she, uh, she, really fucked up family, she's man. smoking hot and the character's smoking hot and her voice is smoking hot, so, smoking hot! Beautiful. Wow, I swear these these awards get weirder and weirder the longer <laughs> these, these uh, acceptors get weirder and weirder the longer. I think the uh, you I, I, honestly, I think just hobos are walking. In. <laughs> yeah, I think just hobos are walking in. I didn't really think that was Ellen Major's third brother. I, I don't think so either. I'm not can sure. Can we not lie to these people? And they can tell it's us. <laughs> no, they can't. No. Wait, I mean, no, these are totally other people. No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it is the time that we've all been waiting for. The time that 2013 has really been leading up to. The Video Junkies Award Show Game of the Year. And the winner is... Wait! Drop the beat. Yeah, I think it's time for a little drop the beatness. Okay, and the game of the year goes to... Naughty Dog's The Last of Us! Yay! So here to take the award is the Soul Creator. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! Oh, no! Oh, Mr. Pre uh, former President! I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. But that's my game. I don't care. Sorry. He can kill you. <laughs> this is mine. I don't know anything about video games. I'm Richard Nixon, and I won an award. <laughs> Whatever the last of us is, it's me. <laughs> and I got this award fair and square. America. I am not a crook. <laughs> oh, what? Wow, that is. So a former. Wow, former President, President Richard Nixon. Nixon. Wow. On, wow, this is an honor. Justin, you just missed Richard Nixon. Justin, you missed Richard Nixon. Boy, I love you Richard Nixon. You missed Nixon. This is your favorite God. former president. Mm, I'm so sorry. I'd go get him again, but yeah. I don't like you enough, so. <laughs> I don't like you enough. <laughs> well, yeah, it was, yeah, that was a pretty good award show. Oh, 2013, you've been a bitch, but also yeah, good. Yeah, also good. I mean, who have we had here? We've had, um, we've had the person who's done, you know, who single-handedly made The Last of Us, and, um... Richard Nixon! Richard Nixon, <laughs> and someone from Nintendo. Uh, we had a ton of people here someone today. Someone from DICE was here. Someone from DICE was here, yeah. The well, whoever made Flower was here. Oh yeah, that game company. Yeah, they were there. They were here. It was it was crazy. Ellen Page was here. Wait a second. No, it was Ellen, Ellen Page. Oh yeah, brother twice, 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 twice removed. Sorry. Which we probably think is a hobo. Yeah, he most smelled. Likely. Most likely. I mean, he did <laughs> smell like <laughs> rotten garbage. Yeah, he did. Yeah. But wait, hold up, hold up, hold. Up. What? There's another award here. What? There's, there's no. Award. You're fucking with me. That's, That's podium. A... That's podium. That's podium, I wonder. Well, I mean, we... I, I, mean, I never heard of it, but it was it was in the envelope. It's an envelope. It's official. It's it it be, is. I mean, I didn't write it. Did, did, did we write did it? Did you write it? Did you write it? I may have written it. Oh. I didn't write it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so he, we don't know where this came... Did, I didn't write it either. Yeah, I may have written it. Okay, best, best podium of the year. I don't know who's gonna go to. 
I don't even know what. I don't know what the, what other podiums. I don't know either. It's yeah, this. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. What? What? The people I hate to do shit for. Oh my god. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 